there is one big problem with performance cars. Most performance cars are super low to the ground and especially in a city like Bangalore where the roads are kind of not that good, well, it's gonna scrape. But I think so Mercedes AMG has the solution for all of those problems. This is a GLA 35 AMG and well, it's basically the A35 but in the GLA's body and I'm gonna tell you all about it today. Now let me tell you why you should get the GLA 35 over the A35. Now I know the A35 looks very cool, very nice and low to the ground, but that's its main problem. It only has 160 mm of ground clearance, which means that it's gonna scrape on each and every speed breaker possible. We had one for almost five to six days and well, it was a big hassle to drive it in a crowded city like Mumbai. Whereas the GLA 35, well, it has 183 mm of ground clearance, which is definitely more helpful while doing road trips or going over bad patches of road. Coming to the looks, since this is the new generation of GLA, you get these really nice looking tail lights over here at the back. This being the AMG model, well, you of course have this diffuser, not really that functional, and you have these exhaust tips uh, over here at the rear. You have the AMG badging, but there is still some fakery going on. This vent over here is not really that real. Now, when you come down to the side, you can see these really nice looking AMG specific wheels. They're a little bit different to the A35, so that the GLA35 has some uniqueness. No real body lines over here on the side. You have, of course, ORVMs and all of that. Uh, you have the turbo-formatic badging at the side. And at the front, again, since this is the new generation of GLA, you get new lights, you get the AMG bumper, and you get the Pan Americana grill. But this is what you want to know about. This is Mercedes AMG's M139 engine and this is basically the world's most powerful 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine. It's the same engine found in the A45S, whereas the A45S makes upwards of 400 bhp. This makes 302 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque. And as you can see, it's a fairly normal looking engine where you just have the AMG cover over here. But if you start diving a little bit deeper, you can see there's a massive turbo over here and a massive downpipe over there. And and this engine, well, it's kind of weird, like in the inside it sounds really nice, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be pumped up uh, audio, whereas on the outside it sounds pretty much like a vacuum cleaner, but the punch that this engine gives is undeniable, so I think so, I should shut this engine bay, hop into the driver's seat and just talk about how this thing is to drive. So since this is an AMG, I think so I have to launch it, especially for the fact that it has a 4MATIC all-wheel drive system, one of the world's most powerful 2-litre turbocharged 4 cylinders under the hood, and basically it has traction for days. So I've put the car into Sport Plus, uh, traction control is in Sport, the dampers are stiffened to their maximum setting, foot completely on the brake, Inside this M139 engine sounds absolutely mad. And that's mainly down to the pumped up audio inside the cabin, but I'm not gonna complain about it. As long as I have this big white smile on my face, there's nothing to complain about because, first of all, this engine pulls like an absolute freight train. The amount of torque that it has throughout the rev range is very impressive. And the other thing is it has an 8-speed dual-clutch transmission. And I'm going to be honest, it's not the most fastest transmission out there. But once you start keeping the engine on its boil and start growing through the gears, first of all, it has some really nice uh, dual-clutch farts to it, which sounds absolutely amazing. And yeah, once you're starting to pick up the pace with this car, it definitely starts to respond much better. <laughs> this is a mad engine and it sounds insane on the inside. Not too sure about the outside, a lot of people say this sounds like a vacuum cleaner, which it might 
just sound like one on the outside but at least on the inside it has that grumble it has that aggressive tone to it the good thing that I like about the GLA 35 is that it has a lot of customizations especially when it comes to driving modes well one thing that the A35 didn't have was the suspension stiffening setting well this thing has two settings and basically you can stiffen the dampers however you want and that helps because when you're in the individual mode for this car you can actually change the ride stiffness uh, to your liking so you can have the engine in complete sport plus whereas the dampers can be in comfort so that you can do uh, good speeds on bad roads as well but if you're a car enthusiast power and the sound is not the only things that you're looking at some other things that you want are feedback and well these newer generations of cars not only mercedes but in general almost everyone else well the feedback that the car gives you has died down quite a lot and well this mercedes amg gla 35 isn't that different yes the steering is pretty direct like it's point and shoot i can put it into a corner in the way i want but the thing is the car isn't telling me what it's doing underneath now you can do a couple of mods to you know increase that feel by a little bit definitely uh, some polyurethane um, bushes and some polyurethane mounts will uh, make a big difference in terms of that but it all comes down to how the car has been made and since this is an electronic steering rack feedback isn't something that this thing is made for but something that is really impressive are these brakes you get some fat calipers and you get some really big rotors as well and the rotors are drilled and once you stop onto the brakes it stops on a dime definitely it stops on a dime so braking is something that you don't really have to worry about and the best thing is like i'm just rowing through the gears seamlessly right now the GLA 35 AMG basically feels like a rally car for the road and if you think about it most rally cars have a very similar formula a 2 liter turbo 4 all wheel drive a snappy gearbox and a suspension that can go on dirt tracks yep that is exactly the GLA 35 AMG for you except instead of a stripped out interior roll cage and fire extinguishers everywhere the GLA's interior is covered in the nicest suede leather and stitching the interior is truly the best in class, not only for the AMG version, but even the normal GLA. Since we have driven quite a few of these newer generation Mercedes cars, the MBUX system is now one of the easiest things to use for us. The steering wheel feels nice to hold in your hand, has tons of controls, but customization is the name of the game for Mercedes, and almost every possible screen, light, cluster can be customized to the driver's liking. More importantly, the GLA 35 AMG is still a practical compact SUV underneath. It has a sunroof, 435 litres of boot space and it is comfortable when you need it to be. Overall, our experience with the GLA 35 was fantastic. Even more than its sedan brother, the A35, because we were not in constant anxiety of scraping the car on each and every speed breaker. And surprisingly, the GLA 35 AMG can mask its immense 2100 kgs of weight quite nicely. So definitely, if you want something practical, fun and a car that can cater to your inner hooligan as well as take your family on weekend trips, the GLA 35 seems to be the option for you. A big thank you to Sundaram Motors and AMG Bangalore for letting us use their test drive vehicle for this shoot. We were supposed to take out the A45S but hey, that just gives us another reason to revisit Bangalore and Sundaram Motors absolutely stunning showroom. So if you are from Bangalore, want an AMG or a Mercedes, Sundaram Motors is definitely the place to go. Till then, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what would you pick, the A35 AMG or the GLA35 AMG. I will catch you in the next one.